friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a mature cataract with anterior capsular fibrosis let us observe this surgery this is the main incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus with a 2.8 mm steel keratom a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 and 1/2 clock hours away ideally it should be about 3 clock hours away an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber beneath this air bubble trypan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule and we can make out by the contour of the anterior capsule that there is anterior capsular fibrosis now a simco cannula is used to wash the dye and we see that there is very nice staining of the anterior capsule the anterior chamber is then filled off with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose now i take a sharp needle a 26 gauze bent needle and try to make a puncture at the center of the capsule because of subcapsular fibrosis it becomes difficult the capsular fibrosis is in the central part as well as it extends in the inferior aspect near the periphery so i have to go around this fibrosis and at around 6 o'clock this area it will go to far periphery and i have to be i have to make an attempt to bring it back and i could yes so we have got a large rexus but it is continuous and it will accommodate an intraocular lens very nicely the lens will be nicely centered and no problem will occur hydro dissection is done with 27 gauze cannula again some visco and now is the time to introduce the feco handpiece the machine is otley cataract x3 the microscope is lumera t from jays and here it goes the there is some lidrs so what i do is i lift the iris by the tip of the chopper and frequently this is happening the the rivers you know optic the rivers hydro by the irrigation pressure the iris is stuck to the surface of the lens surface of the anterior capsular rim and the people dilates and this is direct chow i get a nice crack and i make a scar to go to deeper level come to the other side rotate 180 degree hold on heminucleus and separate the other heminucleus completely and this heminucleus i'm planning to divide into three pieces this is on piece at this time i cut the iris margin immediately i released we have to train our uh, foot to have to develop a sharp reflex even if we if we catch the posterior capsule we should be able to stop immediately and release the capsule by reflex so the emulsification is being carried out emulsification of the pieces and on heminucleus actually the larger heminucleus is removed and this is the other heminucleus it 
is held nicely before you chop. Remember that you have to hold the uh, lens, you have to hold the nuclear piece very firmly and then you attempt chopping. If the hold is not good, do not try chopping. And this is a good idea before you emulsify the last piece, use some visco, push the posterior capsule down. Uh, visco means uh, uh, 2 percent HPMC in this case. And then the last piece is emulsified single handedly uh, because the posterior capsule then remains far behind. I tried to remove some amount of cortex by the hand piece itself, but I found that it is not working in this case. So, I come out, inject some visco. In hard cataracts, we can use the soft shell technique where you use chondroitin sulphate and sodium hyaluronate. But both these viscoelastic substance, substances are costly and it is not uh, you know in a peripheral setup where the patients come from a lower socio-economic category, it is not possible. So, we have to learn to use HPMC and give the benefit to them should not put burden and if we put burden on them, they will go to you know charitable organizations, do free surgery. So, we have to lower the financial burden from patients and then they can come for service. So, what I did by this time is I have uh, released the cells from the posterior capsule by irrigating probe and now I am using the uh, Simco to remove the cortex. It is nicely done, the posterior capsule is, is nicely polished and now is the time to implant an intraocular lens and I am going to do hydro implantation of this single piece monofocal intraocular lens. And the lens has gone in the capsular bag. Whether the lens is in the bag or not, we can rotate and check in those areas where the anterior capsular rim is visible. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. And now, the side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration and then this is a final lavage of the anterior chamber. The music used in this flute music used in this video is royalty free. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.